What's up guys, welcome back. OCG Meta Game Breakdown for early November, end of October uh, 2020. So let's take a look. Blazing Vortex, the new set, um, has been released in the OCG end of October, so last weekend. And um, well, there are a couple of new uh, cards, big cards that definitely impact their format from the set. Something like Pot of Disparity, the new Pot Ride, the new Pot Card. Um, other archetypes that we are currently not seeing pulling through are like uh, the Evil Twins, Life Twins, you know, the Armed uh, Dragon Metal Foes, the new Metal Foe cards, couple of new Tri Brigade cards as well. Uh, Virtual Worlds, um, that comes to mind, we'll, uh, you know, talk about that within the next couple of moments. And new uh, archetypes like Spray Guns and security force but um, those seem a bit too um, you know weak compared to their current uh, top tier decks so let's move on and start with a breakdown of Road of the King. Uh, about a little over 100 deck lists were uh, 109, again, top performing deck lists from 21 tournaments held in Japan, China, Taiwan, South Korea. And keep in mind, these were in real life tournaments, so no remote dual tournaments. This is the current breakdown, and as you probably know, um, the, 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 well, the, obviously the, their format is super diverse. I mean, they're all like localish tournaments, regional level, ah, sometimes regional level. I, I mean, I'm looking at the um, the people representation, the amount of people present. Um, and that's the thing is, is that, okay, a lot of diversity, but Eltlish, and you know, from uh, my previous breakdown a couple of weeks ago, um, and of course, Road of the King is doing it weekly, is that the Dogmatica or Eltlish, well, Eltlish actually, is like the top performing deck Together with Zodiac, Zodiac kind of faded away uh, past couple of weeks. Eltlish taking the uh, you know like the, the top spot, uh, but now here we see Zodiac at about 5.5 percent. That's not a lot, but you know the one of the biggest reasons is that people might want to try out other decks, right? So um, something to note is Dragon Link. As you know, Dragon Link is huge. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's like. <laughs> <laughs> their extra deck is is, is hindered um you know, you know like lp is banned right in the ocg and um dragon link in the tcg is, is of course much better compared to the in the ocg and it's still doing well over there but without further ado let's uh, you know take a look at the first featured list and that's eldlish Eldritch again still going strong. The deck is are pretty much the same as we've seen before in past weeks. Extravaganza is still obviously preferred over, let's say, the new pot, pot of disparity. And, um, you know, for a good reason, the deck can definitely miss those uh, randomized six cards from the extra deck. But most notable that Extravagance has the, uh, you know, the, the advantage that it will draw you two cards. Unless, of course, disparity, while, well, you know, disparity lets you pick one. Like, very similar to pot of duality. But anyway, uh, one of the reasons why Eldish is doing so strong or going so strong is, of course, I mean, look at those last six cards. Uh, the Holy Trinity of the Floodgates, Imperial Order, Mistake, and Triple Skill Drain. Let's move on. Uh, Virtual Worlds. That's an archetype that's currently, uh, you know, or will be released. Or, you know, yeah, it's, it's indeed released in the TCG. Um, it's uh, For me, it's like an underdog archetype. It's very similar to Burning Abyss, as you see in the, the deck list here. If you're familiar with the deck, it's heavily focused on, you know, like level 9 synchro plays, rank 9 XC plays, mainly calamities being their main to go to boss monster, level 9 synchro, level 6 synchro plays, rank 6, uh, rank 3 as well not to forget but mainly calamities is there to go to cart they also got a new trap in blazing vortex one of but i mean basically get it on your side of the field with their stuff right uh, it, it's a very cool deck virtual world um, this particular player uh, is indeed going for every monster at its maximum value it went or the player went 6-1-1 so that's good but uh, i mean true king of all calamities is still one of the best extra deck monsters over there uh, number C73, Abyss Supra Splash, is in the extra deck as an out, an easy out to Rage Raptor Ultimate Falcon. You never know that uh, that the opponent is maybe able to summon off of Waking the Dragon. So that's that's uh, the reason why it's there in the in the side deck. But keep in mind that a card like Emergency Teleport is currently at 2, if I'm not mistaken, in the OCG, while it's uh, still at 1. But, you know, with upcoming archetypes, psychic archetypes, we might see uh, Emergency Teleport coming back. But, uh, I mean, Virtual World, a really cool archetype. I definitely like it a lot. Dogmatica invoked this particular list, and we finally see the new pot popping up. Uh, for a good reason, right? You're not main decking pot of extravagance here in this deck together, <laughs> together with pot of... Uh 
uh, desires as well. But disparity and uh, as Road of the King mentions as well depends, right? Uh, how many cards you want to banish from your extra deck? You can, and that's a big difference. You can choose which cards you will banish from your extra deck face down. That's the difference between extravagance, and then you know you can excavate the top three or six from the top of your deck and then pick one card. But uh, you're not blocked off of your draw, so you can still use like desires, for example. And uh, depending on how many cards the particular player will banish from the extra deck depends on his opening hand. Let's say if he opens with one of those important starter cards, either Dogmatica and or Elfish, he'll banish like just three cards. If not, he'll go for the maximum six cards, right? You know, just I guess digging deeper in the deck. As, um, you know, basically in conclusion from Lord of the King is obviously the format is super diverse. Virtual World as a combo deck is doing okay. Dragon Link surprisingly is also uh, doing good. We'll have a list up um, really soon. Uh, Prank Kids as well taking up first place or taking up a couple of uh, top spots. Again, deck list ready uh, within the next couple of moments. So don't count Prank Kids out just yet. Same for us here in the TCG where Maxi is not legal. Uh, Sky Strikers as well, main decking Imperial Iron Law. So let's move on to some extra deck lists. Uh, you know, like again, I'll leave the link in the video description. Most lists here, the pictures are from Carlo Store. So speaking of prank kits, again, it's like a deck that with their new link is link one that is is definitely a strong deck, but other decks seem to be a bit more powerful. And I'm looking at the TCG format as well, the current TCG format. So the deck might need a ban list in order to you know become like a super. Uh, contender right meta contender because their link one is very strong this first list is running bells while the second list is going full ham on uh, as well as pancrotops like the last list but uh, zooking alpha also so that's an interesting pick right then another list here for uh, you know prank kids as well with the real life cards but um, i mean we've seen this right Let's move on. We see Black Wings. Third place Black Wings with Tridicate as well. Uh, don't over or at least underestimate this uh, this deck, right? I mean, it's able to go for Helki, eventually go for the Link uh, 3, right? Especially something like something like a barrier statue from your deck. Maybe block your opponent. Or pre that's for the DCG. Prevent your opponent from pl uh, playing the game. So that's quite strong. But um, I mean, it, it's cool, I guess. A soul shaped force here uh, as well. But uh, really cool. It has been a while. Sky Strikers, as mentioned before, has been topping, getting off those couple of first place in those team tournaments. Um, and of course, most, or if, if not all builds, were running the Imperial Iron Wall in the main deck. Again, basically slowing down the game. You have to, right, in the current OCG format. TCG as well. A 60 card list, and that's still astonishing when I see these lists and see that Cross Looks Greener is still at 2 in the OCG. <laughs> well, one good dream in the TCG, but um, the small zombie engine is quite nifty, but look at that, <laughs> look at the trap lineup. <laughs> Anti-spell skill drain, ah, the rivalry. <laughs> ah, yes, yeah, seems really, really fun. Next up, we have Orcus. This is a top Orcus build, and uh, that's notable. Or th that's uh, surprising, since as you know, Orcus, as well in the TCG, is super, um, you know, like weakened. As in their one of their most recent list, Gearsu also got a hit, as you see here. If I'm not mistaken, it should be at uh, at one indeed. If I'm not mistaken, so again, feel free to correct me. But the fact that it's still going uh, okay, as you saw, like the percentages from Lord of the King, it's sitting about like 4.6 percent. That's quite decent. Especially for a deck that's heavily weakened. Then Dragon Link. Again, a deck that's like, again, like heavily weakened by uh, their ban list, but it's still going very strong. And also, two Chaos, or yeah, the two Chaos cards were revealed or released in the OCG. I'm looking at stuff like Chaos Space. They got back Wyver, Burst, Star, Collapse Serpent. And of course, and that's something we've seen in the past, they are main decking a, a couple of the Dragonity cards to go for the first turn, you know, like negation, prevent your opponent from using the Biru. But who knows? We don't know when we in the TCG will be getting the Dragonity cards, right? Because I think the TCG skipped the structure deck. But again, feel free to correct me on that. 
then the last list, uh, Dragon Mates as well. Um, I mean, but hey, it's it's Dragon Mates, cool stuff. Um, you see Thunder Dragons also using the Chaos Space. Nothing too spectacular, but you know, Colossus is still over. Um, uh, at least still at one over there. So again, if you're a Thunder Dragon player, one can dream. Another Dogmatica and Folk list. Again, nothing too spectacular. And last but not least, um, a Tribigate list. And, uh, yeah, as you know, in Blazing Vortex, Tribigate also got the Tribigate kit. Um, it's a cool, well, it's not really like the most broken card, but it's an okay card for the Tribigate engine. But um, we also see Pot of Disparity here. But again, in most lists, not too impactful. The new Pot card, but obviously you can't really splash it in, uh, in, in any deck, right? You need some uh, very specific decks to main deck the new Pot of Disparity. So that's basically it. Again, guys, feel free to leave your like, opinion, deck lists, uh, things I missed. Feel free to leave those down below. Thanks for watching. Feel free to record or like if you enjoyed the video. Big Sunny out. Peace.